Hello students, under the topic canonical form, here we have the next problem. The question is, classify and reduce the relation x squared uxx minus 2xy y ux plus y squared u y y equals e power x to a canonical form and solve it. So first of all, we have to classify this equation. That is, we have to identify whether this is hyperbolic, parabolic or elliptic. So for that, the first step to solve such a problem is we have to compare the given partial differential equation with the standard PDE. That is, a u x x plus b u x y plus c u y y plus d u x plus u uh, e u y plus f u equals g. So we have to compare with this and we have to obtain the values of a, b, c, d, e, f and g. So let us do that now. So what we do, we've, we mark the given partial differential equation as equation 1. And we compare this equation 1 with the standard PDE this. So when we compare these two equations, we see that the coefficient of uxx is a. And here the coefficient of uxx is x square, which means a is equal to x square. So I have taken and I have written that here, a is equal to x square. And then comparing the coefficient of uxy, here the coefficient of uxy is b. And here the coefficient of uxy is negative 2xy. So let us write that here. So the value of b is equals negative 2xy. And then the comparing the coefficient of uyy, here we have it as c. And here we have the coefficient of uyy to be y square. And so the value of c is equals y square. And then we don't have ux and then uh, u, y and u in this term. So the value of d, e and f are all 0. So the value of d, e and f is equals 0. And finally, the value of g, that is, here it is e power x. So the value of g is equals e to the power x. So we have obtained all the values of a, b, c, d, e, f and g. Next step is, the step 2 is to find the determinant value b squared minus 4ac and classify the given PDE as follows. That is, first we shall find this value that is b squared minus 4ac. So b square minus 4ac will be equal to so minus 2xy the whole square minus 4 the value of a is x square and the value of c is y square. So where to, when we simplify this, uh, this negative sign becomes positive because it's a square and 4x squared y square and then minus 4x square y square and we see that this value is equal to 0. That is the value of b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Therefore, the given uh, um, partial differential equation is of parabolic type because already in the introduction video, I have already said that if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then the partial differential equation will be of parabolic type. So now we are going to deal with parabolic type problem. So after classifying this equation, we have to go to the next step that is writing the characteristic equations. So the given PD is a parabola and therefore the characteristic equation for a parabolic type of partial differential equation is given by dy by dx which is equal to b by 2a. So let us find this now. So I have taken and written that here. The characteristic equation is given by dy by dx is equal to b by 2a. So that is equal to what is the value of b? Just now we have evaluated here that is uh, value of b is negative 2xy. So let us substitute that. So negative 2xy divided by 2 multiplied with a. The value of a is x square. So here it is x square. So we see that these two get ca gets cancelled and one of the x gets cancelled and we obtain this to be negative y by x. So dy by dx is equal to negative y by x. So now the next step is 
to integrate the characteristic equations that we have obtained so uh, let us integrate the characteristic equation so uh, first of all we shall rewrite this that is dy multiplied with x so x dy is equal to this dx multiplied with negative y so negative y dx so taking this to the left hand side from this we obtain x dy plus y dx is equal to 0 now we can write this x dy plus y dx as differentiation of x y is equal to 0 because we know that when we differentiate x y so it will be like first we will have x as it is and differentiating y dy plus having y as it is and differentiating x we get dx is equal to 0 so using that we can we can write this as differentiation of x y is equal to 0 so now integrating on both the sides let us see what we obtain so integrating on both the sides so integrating on both the sides what do we get so when we integrate integral dx y we will get that as x y so that is equal to integration uh, which is equal to we can take it as a constant c so x y is equal to a constant c so from this uh, therefore xi we can write this as xi equals x y okay uh, it will satisfy the characteristic equation now for eta we must make a selection of eta so this eta has to be chosen in such a way that already i have told in my introduction video if it is of parabolic type we obtain the function xi of x comma y equal to c1 and then eta is so chosen such that it is not parallel to the xi coordinate that is it is chosen in a way that the jacobian of the transformation is not zero so how can we uh, choose eta to be equal to so in that case if it should not be parallel to x y we can take eta to be equal to y itself so that uh, it will be not parallel to xi so we have uh, got e, uh, xi and we have chosen eta now using these two we have to proceed the problem that is we already saw that in step 5 uh, the canonical equation of uh, canonical form of this is canonical equation which which is the transformed equation is given by this so in this we have to evaluate this a bar b bar c bar and substitute all the all those values here so how are they evaluated they are evaluated by using these formulas so let us see one by one first of all we have to evaluate a bar for which we need xi x square and then xi x xi y xi y square so first we will evaluate all those which are required and then we will substitute all that here so let us see that now so now i have taken and written that here first we will obtain xi x so xi x is the partial differentiation of this with respect to x so y will be treated as constant so when we differentiate this partially with respect to x we get y and after obtaining xi x we have to get xi y so for partially differentiating this with respect to y will yield us x and then using this we can obtain xi x x that is again differentiate this with respect to x so that when we do so we get 0 then xi y y so differentiating this with respect to y will yield us 0 and then we have to find xi x y to be used in the formula that is we have to differentiate xi x with respect to y so differentiation of y is 1 so we obtain this to be equal to 1 then we should also uh, have xi x square that is uh, we have to take the square of this so that is y square and also xi y square is required in the formula for which we have to take the square of this which is x square so we have obtained all that which is necessary in the formula in terms of xi in a similar way we have to obtain uh, for uh, eta also so for that first we should obtain eta x which is the differentiation of this with respect to x and so that will be 0 and then eta y so the differentiation of uh, this partially with respect to y yields us 1 and then eta x x already eta x is 0 so this will also be 0 and then eta y y is also 0 because 1 when differentiated it becomes 0 and then we need eta x y so again that is going to be 0 
and then eta x square which is equal to this is 0 therefore its square will also be 0 and then eta y squared will be equal to the square of this which is 1. So now we will substitute all this in the formula. So by the formula the value of a bar is equal to this. So therefore the value of a bar will be equal to already we have the values of a, b and c. So what are they? So I have, I have taken that and I have written here. So the value of a square is x square. So we shall substitute that here. So when we substitute it becomes x square and then uh, multiplied with xi x square. So what is xi x square? It's here. So that is y square. So y square plus the value of b is minus 2xy. So minus 2xy and then xi x. So what is xi x? It is y. So we have to substitute that and xi y is x. So let's substitute that. And the value of c is equal to y square. So I have written that also here. And xi y square is equal to x square. So let me write that here. So now this will be equal to x square y square. Plus into minus will become minus 2. x multiplied with x is x square. And y multiplied with y is y square plus y square x square. We observe that here we have x squared y squared and here also x squared y squared which gives us 2x square y square and then minus 2x square y square which gets cancelled and it turns out to be 0. So therefore the value of a bar is equal to 0. In a similar way we have to calculate b bar c bar so everything. So I have calculated that already and I will just show that to you here. So by using all these formulas that is already in our introduction video I have given this formula. If you have a doubt first go through that and then you look into this. So by using all these formulas I have evaluated A bar as 0 already and then B bar the evaluation of B bar I have shown here and that is also equal to 0. So if you see here. So this is evaluation of B bar which is also 0 and then we have the evaluation of C bar which is here and that is also evaluated to be and that is evaluated to be Y square. So if the value of C bar is Y square and then we have D bar and this is the formula and D bar is evaluated to be negative 2XY. And so after that we have evaluated the value of E bar which is also obtained to be 0 and the value of f bar is equal to f. The value of f is already 0 therefore f bar is also 0 and the value of g bar is equal to g and g already uh, we have got it as e power x. We have compared with that equation and we got that value right. So that we will be substituting. So g bar will be equal to e power x. Now we have as we have obtained all these a bar, b bar, c bar, d bar, e bar, f bar and g bar we will be substituting in this transformed equation so the, the transformed canonical equation is given here so in this equation we will be substituting each of the values that we have evaluated and we will be obtaining the canonical form so let us see that now so this is the canonical form of the given pde now since a bar b bar is zero we won't have these two terms but what is the value of c bar we have already evaluated c bar is y square so that we have to substitute so y square u eta eta plus now uh, here we have d bar d bar we obtain to be negative 2 x y and u xi plus e bar is 0 f bar is also 0 so that is 0 so that is equal to g bar which is e power x so e to the power x so therefore the canonical form is given by y squared u eta eta negative 2 x y u xi is equal to e to the power x. This can be further simplified. So y squared u eta eta will be equal to taking this to the right it will become positive. So 2 x y u xi plus e to the power x. Now what we shall do this y squared and this x y and x we, this all we have to change in terms of xi and eta for which we already know that know the value of xi and eta. So what are they? 
we know that uh, xi is equal to xy and then eta we have chosen that is equal to y so from this what we can obtain uh, we can take and substitute this eta equal to y okay the instead of y we can substitute here as eta and so this will become xi equals x eta so from this we can obtain the value of x to be xi divided by eta so this is the value of x this is the value of y so when we substitute the and uh, this is the value of xi uh, so we have uh, x y here instead of which we can substitute xi and instead of y we can substitute this as eta square instead of y square and this e to the power x instead of this x we can replace it by xi by eta so let us do that now so instead of this we can replace it as eta square u eta eta equals 2 instead of x y we will be having xi and then uh, u xi after that plus we get e to the power instead of x we have xi divided by eta we can take this eta square to the right and so this equation turns out to be u eta eta equals 2 xi divided by eta square because this eta square has come to the right so we can write this as u xi plus um, e to the power xi divided by eta the whole divided by eta square so this is the solution I mean uh, the transformed canonical equation of the PDE integrating this equation with respect to eta and xi we get uh, the required solution for this PDE okay hope you have understood this concept of solving the parabolic uh, type of canonical uh, I mean canonical form which is of parabolic type so we will in our next video we will learn about the elliptic type where we have a second transformation so in that uh, we have uh, an important problem which I will be solving in our next video thank you